Okay. Okay, sir. Sure, sure. You can switch off your video, no problem. Okay, sir. Mm, let's start our introductory session. Is the screen is visible? Yes, sir. Okay, so you are getting that uh, just now we have written embedded system design. Uh, this semester subject uh, CSC 504 and laboratory will be embedded system design laboratory. I think uh, the laboratory name is given in the internet wrong. It will be changed later. Okay. Now uh, I think this four uh, colleague will come particularly Professor Devashish Nandi will take only one chapter uh, signals and system part and myself and Dr. Sandeep Karmukar will take most of the contents and uh, Professor Anupam Basu will give some uh, extraordinary lecture uh, that means so, which is very essential for you for enrichment like classes. So this is the up to date uh, our syllabus particularly uh, this we have to follow from the very beginning of the classes. First is that introduction to embedded system. Uh, the first chapter uh, entirely I will teach. Introduction to embedded system, modular approach to embedded system, all these things. But means from unit one, you will get the idea of the embedded system and what is the basic difference for embedded system from others. And after that also we will go for processors, general purpose processors, ASICs, application specific integrated circuit, ASIP, different different architectures are there and particularly designing a single purpose uh, processors. Uh, that is the very important purpose. Uh, this time we will design a processor itself, very important issues and finally some optimization. After that we will learn about the FPGA. Another very important task still not covered uh, field programmable gate array and behavioral synthesis of FPGA using Verilog. So this time you have to learn one programming language that is Verilog or learn properly. Uh, that is important. Uh, I will share the link and slide for you for your early study though SK will take some classes, but you can start studying from there. After that, uh, I think uh, microcontroller uh, that is completely this is microcontroller okay be careful this is not microprocessor microprocessor plus something just you can say combinedly we can get the flavor of the microcontroller but the performance of the microprocessor processors and microcontrollers are completely different it is really little bit application specific that is microcontroller and and this one uh, microprocessor little bit not performance oriented. Malasai Charan. During the join yes, you should be mute your CD uh, sound. Yes, After that, uh, we'll go for this sensor and signal. Uh, that is very important part for embedded design today. That is the sensors. And here you'll find uh, Devashish Nandi sir will take some classes. So actually this ADD converter, it is little bit, I think, is his concept. So in embedded system, some electronics configuration required. So you can get highlight from there. After that, we'll go for the power or embedded system. That means the particularly embedded system is very important. Most of the embedded system may be battery driven or maybe need some additional power for operated isolated environment, not in online electricity power way, but just like in a car and motor car, the embedded system completely power driven by the use battery, the cell. So power where embedded system design is a very important criteria. After that, you will get some RTOS real time operating system. Com from conventional operating system, it is completely different. And what are the special characteristics which uh, embed real-time environment system for our embedded application? That is very important. 
then you will learn how to do the modeling of the embedded system using these are the different standard tools and finally harder softer code design or partition is the uh, main important so you can say here from L algorithm to direct circuit a problem will be there and how problem with register register transfer logic you will get the circuit so you can get your uh, views here now these are the books we will follow especially my favorite book is this one i can say is our textbooks frank bahid and tony givarges though these two the embedded system is a very nice book in some portion from Peter Marvadel and some portion from uh, Daniel D. Gajewski. So if you study something of image processing like application or digital uh, digital camera or some of the module Gajewski's book will help you a lot. But initially our most of the contents I will cover from Frank Bahid. So any one book or more all of these things you can follow. PDFs are available in the website, but I will not uh, tell you that to follow the all free PDFs, but it is available on the website. No need to purchase. You can go through it and get it. My most uh, PPT we have made using these two books. Is this clear? The resource. Is it visible to all of you? Yes, these three sir. books. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. OK, so embedded system design. One is Brahid and Marvardel, Peter Marvardel. That is the embedded system design and their books. And another is the Gajewski. So you can follow any book. The what are the actually fundamental requirement? The scores we will introduce the fundamental requirement of embedded system and the interaction between the hardware and software is in such system. Actually, particularly we have already taught uh, that means. Uh, digital logic design system, digital logic design. Then also we have discussed uh, what we can say. Computer organization architecture. Now what happened that when you develop a practical application, maybe uh, I think uh, you have seen uh, remote login in car. All of you I think seen that means remotely we can log on or log off the car. Yes, sir. Uh, so this is the one of the small scale best application of embedded system you can say already the system is there and is running just from outside by RFID signal you have to invoke on and off or a lot of, a lot of operation you can do and in more you can say in higher range it means the products like uh, maybe you will get more uh, if you go for Volvo Mercedes Benz or something their sophisticated uh, embedded system applications are there. Some cars also there that they can predict uh, in the night also they can predict a complete obstacle in the roadside uh, before any accident also. The technologies are like there. So these are the all the things you can do and now it is, it is coming. Uh, that means uh, you can say uh, may automatic car or vehicle you can say without uh, any person also you can drive the motor vehicles also by the application of the image processing or you can say camera and sensors and mechanical applications by the motors water maybe so that is the you can say driverless car this is the one of the best examples is coming nowadays where lot of embedded applications are there Another domain is the embedded application you're going to aviation system. Mostly all the things of the aviation system in your flight in uh, on the way to run or on the take off or landing anywhere. You will find that that lot of sensor and lot of uh, environmental parameter is very required to decide whether it can take off or whether it can land or not at this sometimes. So these are the so many application you will find uh, in case of Sophisticated embedded system. I am using this term sophisticated. Later you will understand why I am accidentally this term we are announcing. The course will discuss some basic steps of hardware design. Particularly, we will try to design a processors. That means if you can design the architecture, then architecture can be converted to chip level. And here also you will find application specific 
single instruction processor that is ASIC applications of single instruction processor ASICs application specific integrated circuits and finally you will get the field programmable gate arrays. So these are the another thing very important issue of designing for less power consumption after understanding the architecture now our main target that how the power consumption can be reduced by doing a efficient design in the competition level. Since many of the embedded system will have real time constraints, basic issues of real time operating system will be discussed here. Then formal specification model and languages mapping the specification to hardware and software components along with decision to design trade off and hardware software partitioning. There is the very important thing that hardware software partitioning though they will work together. Sometimes we need uh, the so complex software, but having the basic very less uh, system. So that is the one big issues uh, designing the hardware software components. Synthesis of hardware and software along with few optimization techniques. Now after developed a initial draft or initial prototype, what are the basics? Uh, that means methodology will follow that it will optimize not in hardware level also, also in performance level also it will be boosted. The course will end up with a design verification method that are adapted for any embedded systems. After that, now let's start the first touch of the embedded. So syllabus and faculty members and all these things are clear. Probably we have in the September, we have an exam. Did you check the schedule? Yes, sir. I think uh, September na first exam. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Since so first exam is September, so uh, probably whatever we will discuss uh, in this chapter up to FPGA is very important to learn for you. Okay, so take care of these topics. Now, what is actually embedded system? Here embedded means that hidden inside so one can see it. That is the very important. Hidden inside so one can't see it. That's why embedded we are mentioning here. Sometimes uh, in the car already the lock system is embedded in the car but you can't see it in the chip. In the motherboard of the circuit system it is electrically embedded. And system is multiple components. So this is a very important topics, multiple component. When you find out difference between the microprocessor, microprocessors and you can say microcontroller, you will find the basic difference is the components. Why are the components will be appended? That is the very important thing. Together to form a common purpose. Here purpose comparing the processors, the degree of scalability, or you can say the degree of application little bit less comparing the microprocessor. So microcontroller mostly application specific use. So if I say uh, in embedded system our main deck whatever we write in the program level that program can be embedded to a hardware. So that is your main motivation. Now it will be embed inside the hardware to perform here. So an embedded system is one. I don't know if you are directly it, it may be softer, it may be softer or it may be harder, both combination or both. It does not mean that without software cannot be done. Yes, it's possible if you cost customize the system in such a way that from the taking the signal, uh, the hardware will behave accordingly. And sometimes we have to embed the software within the chip also, or we can say by the application of RTOS, this software will run. Its software embeds in ROM, that means particular read on memory. It does not need secondary memory as in computer. So, remember the uh, important this thing in our embedded system, most of the software is embedded in the particularly ROMs. So, an embedded system is one that has computer hardware with software embedded in is one of its important component. So, embedded in already inside with its own certificate, uh, circuit. Now, suppose if we go or if you see the embedded system, what is the best application that sensor sends the signal from outside? 
सेंसर से ओ सॉरी इट वाज जस्ट वन मिनट आई क्लोज्ड इट एक्सीडेंटली इज इट विजिबल नाउ नो सर ओके now yes yes sir. yes sir okay thank you i think i was in this chart na okay so sensor sends the signal this is the very important part you remember our main motivation is that any type of sensor uh maybe iot based sensor iot applications or maybe you can say heat sensor or maybe uh you can say image anything the sensor sends the inputs and it drives to the microcontroller i am writing a microcontroller or you can say the microcontroller microprocessors all embedded system should be microcontroller does not mean it can be microprocessor based also so it will process the input and after processing it will send to the actuator actually actuator will behave as desired it will behave as Uh, desire and finally the actuator give the input to the other system sometime it may happen that the outcome maybe some voltage is the outcome and it will rotate some motor so it can be drive like in this also now suppose based on the temperature of the environment the boiler temperature or the room temperature will vary or according to the changes so what will happen then sensor sense the outside temperature then this temperature will be processed by the our processing unit that's why i have written microcontroller processor both anything can be have me so embedded system should be always microcontroller based that is not true it can be microprocessor based also but due to the scalability or economical constraint generally we make it in microcontroller in viva sometimes in interview you may uh, heard that whether embedded system is always should be microcontroller so your answer should be no embedded system does not be always microcontroller maybe microprocessor based in some scale for large scale application it's a microprocessor based but to reduce the cost of the product as well as uh, you can say make it a cost effective particularly cost effective and performance centric microcontroller based embedded system is widely used am i clear this point to all of you in most of the time students are confused that microcontroller may micro microcontroller means our um, embedded system it can be microprocessor also but generally we found how maybe lion share of the embedded system market is completely based on microcontroller that is true most of the microcontroller due to their application specific demand performance and cost to product the very important thing so again here what about the sensor collects the data it happens that all the data is not suitable for our digital application not suitable so what should i do that will get by some converter maybe some analog to digital converter it will convert it and send to the processor and after getting it the output here the again output will be processed by the digital to analog converter and it will give the real life maybe some ac is uh, temperature will control or maybe some mechanical driving will be happen all this thing in actuator or maybe actuator will give the input after some my amplitude modulus um, uh, amplitude amplification amplification it will give some system output so this can be happen so here we will find the embedded system mostly if you will notice clearly you will get that embedded system has some analog component it can have some digital components it has some software or it has some our converters converter for this purpose because when we interact with the in real time environment so some analog signal should be convert digital to be processed by the our processing unit so this why our converter is essential and also uh, continuous analog to digital or digital to analog converter is happening in this part and also so what will be the basic component when you go for design in microcontroller so you should understand these are the application present or not okay so after that you will get idea that embedded system may be uh, a 
it is a it is a you can say is this just like a circuit you can sir, say question, sir. yes uh, sir uh, uh, which component is the uh, converter sir is it the actuator or the uh, no 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 converter is actually required when the signals are passed see from the environment most of the signals are analog maybe or sensor give if it is coming digital so that time this converter is not required this converter is present here converter is present here are you getting my point yes sir okay sir ah uh, converter actually intermediate it is the based on the requirement actually this is present that's why i have marked it like option if it is signal is coming digital no converter application if it is analog then i need a converter got the point again when the signal outcome your requirement is analog then da2 analog record if it is digitally sufficient then no requirement so as per your requirement the converter will work actually this is present here but it is optional that's why i have given separately here based on the requirement you will choose whether converter is required or not if you have some environmental interaction and most of the environment signal is analog and you have to convert it digital then it, there must be a converter our system will un understand the digital part not analog part so that converter is essential here so this is the one of the process you will find that mostly in analog device you will find the sensor will get the data from the environment after that it will be processed by the control software it has some own logic it happen that if some actuator to be worked it will produce the output of the actuator or otherwise you can see the display maybe temperature is 2 3 degree centigrade like in this way it sensing processing and giving the data that is also possible or it may drive the ac button or the temperature button of some devices in ac controller so this also work like in this way finally that after and with the with the application of the environment that means with the different behavior of the environment it starts working and there is also a clock for synchronize the operations and some operator will be useful uh, during the management of the output so what will be the characteristics of uh, that means our system if you see unlike general purpose computing system embedded system possesses certain specific characteristics and these characteristics are unique to each of us unlike general purpose in general purpose computing system this character unique to each embedded certain specific characteristics are you not unique embedded systems always some special characteristics though what are the important characteristic let's see it is the application and domain specific whenever you purchase any computer like your laptop or pc do you think only you will watch movie or you you will only play or you will do only programming what is the requirement all of these or particularly sir any one of these all of these sir. mostly all of these all of these yes sir mostly all mostly of these mostly playing game na <laughs> no sir okay okay or watching movies how many of you do coding almost all of us all of you okay it's nice to hear but if you do it, do it then it will be very nice because in exam after the exam when you will go for the campus interview that time you realize if i apply uh, if i utilize my laptop in programming otherwise uh, that time you will find the utilization of the laptop okay so but in embedded system if you purchase any laptop suppose for particular application you know 2 gb ram is sufficient suppose 2 gb ram is sufficient for a particular laptop to run this particular application i think you will not go more than 2 gb because your small budget will be very helpful to understand okay so in this cases i think the cost of the laptop maybe 20000 maybe 10000 because your requirement is very less only one application will run and not more than this but when you are purchasing a laptop for general purpose because you are not application specific your application may be game maybe sometimes you will read more novels or maybe sometimes you will play movie whatever may be so app wide applications basic specific applications not 
uh, that means our general purpose processor not application or not domain specific mostly but here in embedded system mostly application or domain specific best example i have given the remote car log lock a uh, remote lock system in a car that is the one of the best that means same lock can be used for our home same lock uh, you can be used for all these these the different purpose everything is some special so for locking purpose you can use it so that is the application or domain specific one is reactive and real time application are there one is reactive another is the uh, it is also to be real time application mostly embedded system it is reactive and real time applications i will discuss more on this reactive and real time application after that uh, operation operators in harsh environment that is the iot is application most of the time most of the time maybe weather sensor or maybe in winter say uh, winter season particularly in our western countries to identify the road you have to append a sensor by the application of the sensor that means you can move uh, through the entire road is covered with the ice but you can predict that what is the actual road happen or maybe snow can be cleared or ice can be cleared from the road side by the application of the sensor so but the sensor always kept in this type of harsh environment also also it should be distributed and small size and weight there the one of the very important parameter this one small size and weight another very important is the application among all these thing these are the very very important at least this point should be remembered in your mind even it should be power consumption also because most of the applications are battery driven so it should not con it should not consume huge power so less power consumption will be very much beneficial for us so small size and weight that is the very important part for us the suppose uh, you are using a gadget for your blood pressure measure blood pressure uh, measurement so or during the walk it will uh, estimate the calorie or something whatever may be so it should not be so huge that during the walk or during the run running when you try to measure this those quantities that the embedded system whatever using it also create a burden overweight for you so the weight is very important and also in terms of small size beneficial for us so these most of them are very application specific application you will find and that's why this special characteristic mostly is widely play, uh, given in case of uh, our processor architecture so so important for embedded whatever i discuss it can be processor based it can be controller based still i am not differentiating the controller and processor each other just remember that it should be the important characteristic of the embedded system how you separate segregate or you can say uh, differentiate embedded system from others if all these properties or most of these properties you found in a particular system so you can say is a best example of embedded system so you will find most of the thing that i told that low cost that is the very important part low cost all the most of the embedded system if cost is high the viability to reach to the market mass will be very less so there is a very important things high efficiency i am able to i am marketing all these things high efficiency that is the one another aspects that it should be always 100% tax or uh, that means performance oriented because in the aviation system if a sensor does not predict the speed or maybe the distance or maybe uh, the moisture quantity properly so any calamity can happen so that's why our main target the efficiency of the software is very desired it's very much your pc may be slow pc may be slow may be fast that does not so much in your programming effect during the programming suppose you are doing a programming there is some error so programming will impact that sorting of the data sometime it is sorting sometime may not be sorting so this is the impact but if you do a programming in case of ballistic mobile uh, ballistic missiles or maybe rocket launching 
if you find that some data is not particularly recorded properly and that mistake can it can happen that the catastrophic explosion in the level of itself still not it uh, that means not uh, already fired it means that the performance of the embedded system is very much important or you can say a zero tolerance directly you can say zero tolerance application should be there that's the main thing it should be high reliable very important thing reliability the embedded system success if you design an embedded system and its success is very poor sometimes it works fine sometimes not works fine it not be acceptable for the client side or user side so that is the very important the high reliability then it is time specific very important thing time specific and very over time all others are very important but these are the actual important fields which are very essential for designing the embedded system record less power okay but if your system consume more power it may happen that at least uh, uh, your mobile uh, should have battery power will be drained out very frequently it happened that when you purchase a iphone or samsung phone or any other phone you will find the difference when you uh, start same apps on the say three three different application you will find that the battery consumptions comparing iphone or others good quality mobile is very poor in a general low cost devices so power battery packed iot system this is the one very important field now you will find that actually the block diagram if you see it looks like a embedded system or an embedded computer some input is given to a particular system your system is combination of hardware software or maybe directly hardware also depends on the embedded computer it gives the output and sometimes it can during the processing of the symbol needs some additional constraint or additional input it can from other system you can it can take or you can say sometimes it may happen that some user interface also you can give interact with this purpose so this is the core of the embedded system now best example user interface maybe fingerprint maybe keyboard maybe switch you can give the embedded computer system is a inputs now it will consider my other input variable and it will start processing the output so you you can view it also the interaction and in link to other section you will most of the five most of the time you will find that okay other system also it can join so user interface may be anything any kind of keyboard maybe palm reader scanner maybe our thumbnail scanner or maybe some switch also which will provide some user input to the interface so we can in give the input to the system so basically the components of embedded systems the hardware it can be processor timer interrupt controller io devices memories and ports these are these things and it may happen that it is a main application it is the main application software which may perform concurrently the series of tasks and a multiple tasks it must have real time operating system not must generally have also define the way of the system work which supervise the application software it sets the role and describe the and during the execution of the application program a small scale application embedded system may not needed in your case so this is the very important a small scale embedded system may not need artos otherwise in other cases artos will manage the software so in next class probably we will start from this component okay today uh, this is the first class you collect the books from the website
so that after today from next class we'll start from here okay okay sir okay sir uh since this is the first class yes, so sir. i am not enlarging the more uh so first of all uh, you get the books so then i can go for this one okay uh, so yes, sir so upload slides on moodle sir ha ah, slide will be loaded uh, in the moodle okay now you can leave thank, thank you, you sir thank you thank you sir thank you sir, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.